Now, if you're looking for a new home, you know that the market's pretty competitive right now. A recent national survey shows of the 42% of people who placed an offer on a home in the last six months, only 11% of the bids were accepted. CBS 11's Brian New in Plano tonight with a new weapon of sorts that some Texas house hunters are using. Brian, tell us more about it. Uh, Doug, these days, real estate agents say in neighborhoods like this one up here in West Plano, it has become such a seller's market that sometimes money alone is not enough. At times, what's known as a seller's letter is needed to close the deal. They offered the listing price, but so did another potential buyer. Two identical offers. The location of your home will be perfect for her commute. With okay. one exception. Okay. Monty and Jan are anxiously awaiting your response. You know, Monte and Jan Bennett say their personal letter to the seller is the reason they now own this Plano home. We had to kind of stand out from the other, the other offers that could be out there. I think the letter actually helped that. With the housing inventory in the Metroplex at a six-year low, often within a day or two of hitting the market, many home sellers have multiple offers. First day on the market, 10 offers. Real estate agent Barbara Van Poole has seen it every day in areas like Plano, McKinney, and Frisco. When we have a market like this, it becomes more personal. Which is why nearly all her clients are now including a personal note with their offers, writing who they are, what they enjoy doing, and why the house is their dream home. The emotional connection can help tick that scale one way or the other. Does it really work? It really works. Just ask the Bennetts. Without their letter, they're convinced this wouldn't be home. Now, this tight inventory has caused home values in the DFW area to go up by more than 8% in the past year. It's the type of jump that this area hasn't seen in more than a decade. In Plano, Brian New, CBS 11 News.